hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here and i appreciate your time so i'm going to be showing you a time lapse of me um installing some jumbo havana twist on semi dirty hair <laughs> it's not like really dirty but um i washed my hair maybe a month and a half ago and it's been a chunky flat twist i've been wearing it um flat twist it down under a wig so this is what I'm doing so I'm just starting with a part down the middle of my head and I'm gonna split my hair into two sections and I'm going to begin working on those sections separately um, yes this is the oil that I use in my hair I have added some things to it so it's not the original formulation but as I am I have like sulfur in it some um, tea tree oil, some peppermint oil, some rosemary, some garlic, like some, just a couple different oils. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm getting um, a big section in the back here because this is going to be, they're going to be jumbo. So, yep. So, I usually do not um, comb or brush my hair when it is dry. Uh, well, rather, um, other than when it's wet, but my hair is currently stretched, so it is a lot easier for me to, or should I say, a lot safer for me to um, detangle my hair dry. But if your hair is not stretched, I do not recommend this <laughs> whatsoever. So, what I'm doing is I'm making the sections first, and then each time I get the section that I want, I'm just gonna put it in a quick little twist, and then I'm gonna go back. Once I have all of my um, twists that I want section out and then I'm going to add the product and the rubber bands and well, you know, you'll, you'll see what I do. But yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. This is helping me map out my hair first rather than going along, making each section, adding product, doing the twist. I prefer to do it this way. So as you can see here, this is all of my sections that I have. I have about, uh, I think I have like maybe eight twists. And I'm going to be using this um, Black Panther Strong Edge Control as my product. Now, I have like mixed feelings about this product. It absolutely does hold your hair. And it does stay. It has like a lot of like, the product itself is like very dense and stiff. So it does you know hold your hair but at the same time for the exact reasons that it stays it also makes the product difficult to work with so i had to like change how i was applying it and um you know once i got that together i was able to work with it you know in a lot more easier uh in a lot more easy manner but it's difficult to work with <laughs> so i'm not sure how i feel about it or whether or not i would recommend it but I will say if you do have um, issues getting your edges to lay down, you may want to try this product because it definitely is stiff and once it's on it, it does not move and it even kind of clumps up in your edge control brush. So you see here I had to switch to using a regular brush, like a wave brush, because when I was using my, my little toothbrush that I use for my edges, it was not working with me at all. So. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing is I just add the product to, you know, the parameter of the part. I apply a small black rubber band and then I twist my natural hair into a twist. And yeah, it's really simple. So this is how one side looks when it's complete. 
um, I'm happy with these sections. They're not like 100% perfect because <laughs> I struggle with parting my hair in the back of my head. So that's why I have this little setup with my mirror in the bathroom. So yeah, this was, um, you know, the end result. And this is how my sections came out. Again, they look good enough. They're not perfect, but they look good enough. So I was just saying that the length of the hair, of the actual kinky twist hair, was like 24 inches. Um, but this is like I um, old hair because I reuse my hair. I prefer to reuse my hair because um, I feel like um, older hair looks more natural as well as it's more like malleable, and you're able to get like a nice look. So yeah, I was just saying that the hair is 24 inches, but I have like I don't know. I I, I don't really remember how many were in those like clusters so i think maybe like two were in each cluster so maybe i have like between um seven or six strands so i just like as you saw i apply it with the crochet method and then i'm gonna twist it down and that's what you just want to keep repeating that till you're done it's really simple So 
this is the finished look this is how the beads on the ends of the hair look and this is how it looks from far away it is like a nice kind of <laughs> um i don't know what you would describe it like neat but a neat um twist it's like you know it's it's looking you know pretty natural um the roots are looking good it's just you know it's like a nice casual style it's easy nice protective style because i wanted to stop wearing my wig my half wig but i didn't want to wear my hair out so easily went straight into this and this is the finished look so i hope my video was helpful i hope that you can uh, watch my video and get tips to recreate this look because it's, it's really easy it's really simple once you get the sections parted out the way you want um installing the hair is pretty simple so Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye.